So we're here today, gathered at Camp Hale, home of the the original home of 10th Mountain Division. I'm a 10th Mountain veteran myself. I'm here with Mr. Francis Lovett, who's an original 10th Mountain veteran who trained here at Camp Hale. We are advocating for national monument status for Camp Hale and the Continental Divide Wilderness and the surrounding hills around Camp Hale here. How do you feel, Francis, um, Mr. Lovett, about how accessible Camp Hale is now um, versus how it was when you first got here? Well, it's accessible now. Mm -hmm. Before, when I was here, you, you got in and out with guards at the gate and so on. Sure. So it was not accessible. And I don't think very many people wanted to come and play in Camp Hale. Right. I also heard it had a nice nickname. They called it Camp Hale. Yep, Some there did. You go. <laughs> but no matter what people remember about it, or like me, think about it in retrospect, where I'm really straining my memory to think of all the good things that were here. It sounds like there was quite a few. There were. There were. The experience with the outdoors was for me one of the most gorgeous times of my life. I would give anything if I could go again out into all these woods and mountains and and just look, right. see, feel, and smell. And I, that's one of the reasons I'm so interested in having this declared a national monument. Not just this little tiny oval bowl that used to be a camp, but all the things around it. I agree. That belong with it. And it's so easy to tear things down. So it is. I and you like can't it's... put them back. Serving with the 10th in Afghanistan and then with the reserve component back in, uh, back in Connecticut and Vermont. Um, and then moving out here to Colorado after I got out of the service, um, I found nothing but solace, nothing but um, relief and peace here in the surrounding hills around yeah. Camp Hale. Yeah. Um, I, I live a short a short distance away. And uh, I always tell people that the, these lands, specifically right here around Camp Hale, they act as my therapist, my gym, yep. my church, uh, and my playground. Yeah. Um, and it sounds like that's si similar to uh, to your experience yes. and the experience of a lot of the vets who served here and who have served afterwards. A lot of my experience in academics involved being part of music. Okay. And I came to recognize along the way that what a lot of people say is a silly, so sentimental song the hills resound with the sound of music. Mm -hmm. I believe it. You too. Because in my music insides, there is music in being here. And there should be, like coming to a Philharmonic concert, you come to relax, to think peaceful things to remember good things and to anticipate, let's do it again. And I would, I would love to see this as a national monument. I come back and say, oh, they did it. How important, it's history. And history needs attention. That it does. And the more we can protect and preserve, the more grateful some generation is going to be. Not only honor those who have served here and have given their lives in defense of democracy and yeah. in defense of our nation, um, I think there's no better way to do that than to protect the physical lands where we live. Um, you know, we can disagree with our government, we can disagree with our society, we can disagree with politics or news or, or anything, but uh, 
you know, when it comes to, to public lands, um, it's something that belongs to everybody um, and it's worth protecting. After every single one of us, today, future is gone, the land is going to be here. Right. And it will regenerate itself if we insist on ruining it. Yes, it will. So I'm in favor of protecting every acre we can and am quite willing to write, speak, argue on behalf of having a national monument. Francis, it's... And I feel grateful for the opportunity to say that it means that much that I would do anything in speech, writing, whatever it takes to help persuade people. It's that important to me. It's that important to me as well. Yeah. Um, and I think yeah. that's something other than our military service that we absolutely share. Yeah. It's maybe a little bit of the influence of our respective service help lead us to being so similar in our attitudes I can, about yeah. this. I, well, I think I'm, especially folks who go and see combat, you know, yeah. and, and see the horrors that war oh, is yeah. Yeah. Um, and has been um, and it probably always will be. Um, but to, yeah, to come back to a place like our public lands, a place like Camp yeah. Hale, um, or to come back to Camp Hale specifically. Well, Francis, I really appreciate your time. Um, I'm, I'm so thankful to have met you. Well, I too. I'm so glad to know there's somebody not of my generation who still cares. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Let's shake your hand. You bet. <laughs> you bet. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> it's an honor, truly. Well, I appreciate that. Nope. I'm sorry only that I can't go home and tell the people what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You're not missing much. <laughs>